90 Day Fiancé Season 10 star Igor Shutenkov aka Justin Moldova is revealing his real relationship status with Nicole Sanders aka Nikki Exoteka after their shocking fight during the Season 10 tell-all. Nikki from Hoboken, New Jersey starred in the reality TV show with Justin from Chisinau, Moldova. Nikki and Justin's love story spanned across two decades. They had been engaged previously but Nikki, not telling Justin she was a trans woman, created issues in their relationship till the end. Nikki and Justin had called things off at the reunion in front of the cast. Nikki met Justin 17 years ago. She traveled to Moldova to meet her Russian boyfriend who had been deported from the U.S. only to find him there with a secret girlfriend. Nikki was heartbroken because she was supposed to marry this man. She made a profile on a friend's website and met Igor there. She couldn't fathom the name Igor as it reminded her of Frankenstein's assistant and renamed him Justin because he looked like Justin Timberlake. Nikki was impressed because Justin had not tried to sleep with her on their first date. He proposed to her on her fourth Moldova trip. Nikki and Justin tried to give their relationship a chance in the U.S. after their first K-1 visa was approved. However, two weeks after Justin came to America for the first time, they had some issues that couldn't be worked on. Justin was being lazy and expected Nikki to do all the housework apart from her work. During one of their arguments, things got really heated and Nikki told him she was once a man. Nikki had been living her life in stealth. She had not told Justin that she was trans for two years. Justin was traumatized and he went home. He was depressed for a long time. This was back in 2007, but Justin and Nikki kept in contact throughout the years. They came back together 15 years later after Justin inquired if she was single. He told her he was single too. Nikki suggested how funny it would be if they gave each other a second chance. Justin had laughed at her suggestion, but three months later, she arranged a trip to Mexico for them to connect physically, mentally, emotionally. Justin told her she was the love of his life and proposed to her again. When Nikki flew to Moldova during season 10, she realized Justin had still not come to terms with her being a trans woman. Justin accidentally told Nikki he had cheated on her. Justin insisted it was before they got engaged, but Nikki said they were already together and planning a future. Nikki was broken to find out Justin had several no-strings-attached flings with other women. He called them his sex friends. While Nikki didn't leave him then and they even had a traditional engagement ceremony in Moldova, Justin broke up with her via text two weeks after she returned to the U.S. Nikki and Justin had gotten into a big fight over him not having a job and her having supported him financially the entire time. Nikki accused Justin of using her. They didn't speak for a week, and then he texted her saying he wanted to end the relationship. Nikki had begged Justin to take her back and for him to give her one more chance. They got back together. During the tell-all, Nikki said she'd gone back to Moldova after filming to attend Justin's birthday party after their reconciliation. Justin revealed he'd previously broken up with Nikki over text because she never gave him the chance to speak face-to-face -face and talked over him. Despite their reconciliation, Justin wasn't sure of Nikki. He didn't think they were in a relationship at the moment, but he had kept the door open. He said that everything would probably be good between them if Nikki learned to behave more like a lady. Justin said Nikki had manly vibes. He had told Nikki the previous night that he was not gay or trans attracted. He'd said he was straight but that Nikki was his exception. However, Justin was also not interested in coming to the U.S. to marry Nikki anymore. Nikki decided it was time for her to let him go. She didn't want to force him to love her or be into her. Nikki was shown emailing her lawyer to pull Justin's K-1 visa. Still, it wasn't the first time they'd split and there was always a chance of their getting back together. Jasmine confessed she had a crush on Nikki during the tell-all. When asked which cast member she'd want to have a baby with apart from her partner, Nikki said Jasmine and the latter agreed to carry Nikki's baby. They seemed to be surprisingly close. After all, they had spent time together before. Jasmine revealed she had dated women in the past. Meanwhile, Nikki shared a carousel Instagram post dedicated to Jasmine. One of them showed them giving each other a peck on the lips. Fans wondered if they had a romantic relationship amid Jasmine's breakup rumors with Gino. Reddit user Impossible 8337 was pleasantly surprised when they came across Nikki on a TV show other than 90 Day Fiancé. They wrote that they're from the UK and had started watching Miriam. Death of a reality star when they saw Nikki in it. The Channel 4 three-part documentary series follows the story of Miriam Rivera 
a transgender woman who was the center of the controversial reality series, There's Something About Miriam. Nikki was a lifelong friend of Miriam who met a tragic end at the age of 38. Her tragic death left many unanswered questions. For those wondering if Justin ended up coming to the U.S. after the tell-all, there's bad news. Justin's new Instagram updates reveal he is still in Moldova. Justin gets a lot of attention on his Instagram. His comments section is filled with thirsty fans who compliment him on his looks and style, especially after knowing that Justin is single now. Recently, a fan asked him why he was still using the name Nikki gave him as his Instagram handle. He corrected them, saying it was Justin Moldova. Justin's Instagram handle is at Justin Moldova, which is a play on his screen name, and he seems to be using his real name, Igor Shudenkov, now. Justin told the fan he was born in Moldova and has spent most of his life there. He also added that his mother is from Ukraine and his father is from Russia. When a different fan asked Justin where Nikki was, he told them their current relationship status. Justin said Nikki was among her family and friends who love and support her. He hoped that Nikki was building her happy future and was not still stuck in the past. 90 Day Fiance star Justin added that from now on, Nikki was going to be on her own because his role in her life was done.